Hey guys, welcome to this training module. So this is a public free training module showing clinicians, PTs, OTs, and SLPs, how to use PracticeMate, which is a free patient accounting software within Office Ally. Office Ally is the clearinghouse. I'm showing you how to use PracticeMate to generate a paper CMS 1500. Now, a lot of your clients, especially if you're cash-based out of network, they want to receive a super bill. The gold standard super bill is gonna be a CMS 1500. If you wanna give your client the best chances of reimbursement, give them a CMS 1500 super bill. In the video description below, I'm putting an Amazon affiliate link to where you can buy the CMS 1500 pre-printed forms. You don't have to use them in a lot of cases. You can use just black and white laser, uh, laser or inkjet printer, but I want you to have the resources. So let's jump into Practice Mate. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna briefly show you how to create an account, and then I'll show you inside the, the account. <clears throat> so this is inside a fake account. Uh, I use this as a training account for Practice Mate. If you're looking for the resources to create your own account initially, you're gonna to go to the Office Ally website, you're gonna to go to the Resource Center, and you're gonna to go to Office Ally Forms and Manuals. There, you're gonna submit an authorization sheet, you're gonna sign and submit a business associates agreement, and you're gonna submit a practice mate user agreement. Office Ally is an amazing clearinghouse. There's always a time and a place. Different clearinghouses have, have different pricing structures and, and different utilities. Um, I've used many different clearinghouses over my career, but right now we're using Office Ally and they do a great job. But if you're not submitting claims electronically, you can use these resources for free. And I think if you're running a cash-based practice, if you're doing any out of network, um, if you don't already have a solid patient accounting software in place, please get one going. I don't care what you use. You can use Office Ally or whatever. Get one going because if you're going to try and run a real business, you need a real patient accounting software. So let's jump in here. Now, I don't expect this training module you know, to, to answer all your questions. This is just a quick down and dirty run through okay, I'm treating an individual, they want a CMS 1500, how do I get it for them? So, super basic, we go in and we click add a new patient. You need some basic information when you're admitting a new patient. So let's name this fake patient, last name, we're gonna name it Smith, uh, John, you can put a middle initial or not, it's not required. We're gonna need a date of uh, birth. And so let's just say 1942, the individual is a male. None of the other fields here are required and I'm gonna be the first one to tell you, I wouldn't put any unnecessary information into this platform. If you're not gonna need a social security number, don't collect it. That's just one more piece of information you don't need to protect if you don't have it. So we need an address. So I'm just gonna say one, two, three, Main Street. We need a city. We're located in Monroe, Ohio, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, a, a phone number is optional. I would encourage you to get a phone number. So let's just get it in here. Remember, this is the structure for your business. This goes beyond just a CMS 1500. This is how you should do your accounting for your revenue driving, which would be PTOT, SLP, wellness services, product sales, whatever you're doing. I don't need any of the other information, smoking history, employment, none of that is required. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click add a patient. If you remember, the patient's name here was John Smith. So I'm gonna do a quick search for Smith. I'm gonna come down to John. This is who we just created. I'm gonna go into the insurance tab, and this is where you're gonna choose whatever you're gonna choose for this individual. Let's say, for example, this is a personal injury case or an auto, so I'll select auto. Um, if I have the insurance information, I can go ahead and put it in here. Uh, for right now, I'm just gonna leave this stuff blank, but if you enter insurance information into 
your insurance table. That can be a separate training video. You know, let's say for example, this individual has like a Blue Cross plan. So I could select that and you can see how it populates Blue Cross. It pulled the patient information because it's selected as self. The um, individual uh, account number for this patient in this software. Then obviously here, if I was gonna put in a subscriber or member ID, you would get that off the insurance card. I'm not required to enter a group or a plan name, but certainly I could. Let's just say I put that in. If I have, which obviously if you're treating the patient, you need an authorization to release information and signature on file. If you're gonna accept assignment or any of that, that's all gonna be addressed in here. The date the individual signed the information, your admission paperwork, all of that goes right here. I'm gonna assume there's no secondary or tertiary payer in this case. If there was, you would fill it out there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. So now I've got the patient in the system and I've got the insurance information in the system. Now we wanna create a claim. So I'm gonna come out here to template. If I'm not using the scheduler and any of the other functionality, you know what's great about PracticeMate is they have a HIPAA compliant scheduler and they have a HIPAA compliant patient communication through email. Uh, it's called Patient Ally. Both the scheduler and Patient Ally are free. They also have paid up services like uh, a patient reminder and a couple of things. But let's just come out here. So I'm always gonna need a referring physician if I'm submitting to Medicare. Um, I don't always need a referring physician if it's an out of network and I'm referring to a commercial plan that doesn't require a referring physician. So for example, here in Ohio, some of the Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield plans do not require a referring physician. I can leave that blank. If I needed a referring physician, I would enter them. You can see here it says add new. I'd enter them into the table and I'm just gonna pick a random. So let's pretend this, I don't know this physician. That's not a normal physician, but it is a real physician. I'm gonna choose this person as my referring physician to show up on the claim. We had indicated this was an auto accident. So in this case, I would say yes and I would choose the state of the accident. But if it wasn't, if this was just a standard out of network, they want a CMS 1500 to submit to their payer, that would stay no, you would leave the, the place blank. I, I leave all of that information blank. I would come down here, let's say my primary diagnosis is low back pain. Let's say my place of service in this situation is the office. I'm going to do a minimum um, evaluation code, minimal complexity. I'm going to do, let's do uh, therapeutic exercise and, and massage. I am a physical therapist, so I've put in my modifiers in here. Uh, if you're a, an occupational therapist, a speech pathologist, you would indicate your modifier if it's required by the payer. Some payers want it, some payers don't, but more are moving in that direction. My diagnosis pointer. Now guys, if you want more information, I have a full course teaching you how to submit claims specifically to Medicare, but it carries across all payers. The course is available. It's an eight module course. Each module is an hour. I teach them live and then they're recorded and archived for you. You can watch the replay. You get lifetime access to the course and any new modules that I add. Um, I'll post a link to that course in the video description below this. Let's say line charges, whatever your line charges are, let's say $150 um, for one unit of the eval, let's say $50 for a unit of exercise. And when you're doing units, I like to just do the math ahead of time. So let's say $50 for a unit of manual therapy, um, $50 per unit for exercise. But now in this fake treatment, I provided two $50 exercise units. So the total charge is hundred bucks. I provided one $50 manual or massage intervention. So the charge is 50 bucks. 
Okay, I've got my template set up. This isn't the claim yet. This is just the template getting ready for the claim. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna click apply. Apply allows me to save the changes and stay in the account. If I click update, that saves the changes but takes me out of the account. And from here, we're gonna go to, I like to create a new visit and from the visit I create a claim. I think it's a better way to manage your accounting. Let's pretend the patient came today, date of service, March 25th. Let's say the reason was evaluation. This is optional, but I think it helps you understand and, and kind of look back to see what you've been doing. You can see that practice mate carried the information forward. I'm gonna to go to billing information. My diagnosis code is there. My from date is populated based on the date I entered for the claim. I've got all of my other information here. I'm gonna scroll down, total charge 300. There's nothing really for me to do there. I'm gonna check the billing options. I've got my referring physician. If it's required, it is required for Medicare. I've got my facility, my billing provider, nothing else here on the screen is required. Once I click update, what happens now is it created that visit in this patient's account. Now I create, I wanna create a claim. So I create the claim. You can see it here. You can scroll through everything that's required is there for this particular fake patient. I can go ahead and hit update. And so now my claim is created, but we wanna print this. We're not submitting this electronic. This is for somebody who's paying cash or who you're seeing out of network who needs a CMS 1500 for their records. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, go into claims and billing. John Smith is our patient, our fake patient. I'm gonna check that little box right there on the left. I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna make sure that the CMS 1500 new version is selected. Now, if I'm printing this on just white paper, and I'm not using the pre-printed forms. I want includes form image to be selected. I want to go select action, print claim. And what you'll see here is this is what is going to print out on your white piece of paper. But let's take another example. Let's say I want to print a claim on a pre-printed CMS 1500. I uncheck that box. I make sure I choose the claim I want. I go to print claim. And now you can see that the background is blank, but all the pertinent information has been applied and will print on your pre-printed CMS 1500. So that's the process, guys. Hopefully this training video kind of gave you some exposure, gave you some ideas. If you need information on modifiers, modifier 59 and the KX modifier, and, and if you need information on understanding how to read, and process an EOB, how to apply payments to the account, any of that stuff, let me know. Once again, if you're not in my Facebook group, if you don't know anything about me, my name's Tony Maritato. I'm a physical therapist and practice owner here in Ohio, but I also teach clinicians, PTs, OTs, and SOPs, how to start a Medicare practice, how to uh, provide your initial enrollment with Medicare, how to set up your claims and your processing and, and compliance and all of your documentation requirements. Um, let me know what you guys are looking for. I'm producing more content. Check out the channel, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you get all the new content as I produce it. Guys, as always, thank you so much. Keep watching the videos. Let me know what questions I can answer. I'll catch you next time.